Hello! Today, I will take you with me to talk about inverter in electric vehicle. I am Jaehun Liu or just call me RJ. Just follow me and understand what is inverter and how we are working on. As human beings, we need energy to run, work or communicate. The same applies to an electric vehicle which can weigh roughly up to 2 tons almost as heavy as adult hippo. Imagine! To drive such a mass, you need a huge energy. That energy is provided from the battery as a type of direct current, which is called as a DC. On the other hand, electric machine or motor on the vehicle needs different type of current, which is called as alternating current or AC. In order to create this rotating magnetic field within the electric motor to generate the electrical energy to the mechanical energy at the end drive the vehicle. This is exactly what does inverter do and made for the conversion of energy from AC to DC or vice versa. Simply speaking, there's a two basic scenarios. First one, accelerating. Second one, decelerating. Let's have a detailed look when what's happening, accelerating. The inverter calculates the energy required from motor for based on the driver's input and current driving conditions such as positions, speed, and temperature of the motor. This calculation of the correct input is happening more than a 100 times per second, very frequently. Based on this calculation, inverter then converts the direct current into the alternative current by controlling these electrical switches as on and off. These switches are called as a power semiconductor, which can work either as a conductor or as an insulator. This is the core physical interaction happening in the power module, which is the heart of the inverter, at a rate of more than 10,000 times per second. It's really fast switching. So, what about decelerating? On the other hand, this is exactly the same process, just the other way around. The inverter converts the alternating current coming from the motor into the direct current, which is then restored into the battery. This process is called as recuperation, which is a key factor boosting the total efficiency of the electric vehicle. There are four key areas to buy the electric vehicle. Mileage, fast charging, cost and sustainability. First, increased electrical mileage is very important. To do this one, we need to optimize efficiency of the inverter at the end, total efficiency of the total electrical axle system. It can be realized by using the innovative semiconductor technologies such as silicon carbide or gallium nitride and more sophisticated switching processes and topologies. When we're talking about the fast charging of entire vehicle system, need to be very high voltage level like 800 volts or even higher which is inverter needs to be able to support additionally it should realize special function to utilize 400 volt charging station to be used for this 800 volt vehicle which we call it as a boosting in order to increase the acceptance of electrical vehicle on a broad scale the affordability of the electric vehicle is so much important which means that all this uh, cost target goes down into the older system and subcomponent of the electric vehicle. To challenge this one, we are approaching like a, a stringent platform approaches via standardization of the design and economic of the scale. So last but not least, sustainability, very important topic for the future. As there are more regulations will be expected to be implemented in the future, the CO2 footprint of entire development cycles and production cycles of the inverter is getting more and more important and its subcomponent needs to be sourced with the really green components. Certainly, the development of inverter technologies does not stop here. Our modular approach and scalable approach for our platform already allows us to fulfill the various challenges or requirements from the customer, such as different voltage and power levels from 400 volt to 800 volt and different semiconductor utilization such as silicium, lithium carbide or even gallium nitride and even further flexible power module technology such as over molded or frame module or even more in the beyond as you have seen in the video we are daily working hard to meet the global standard but also exceeding the global standard we are dedicated to powering the clean and sustainable mobility Future is electric.